Lou Anne Loud is hilarious. Still, her pranks can get a little out of hand. But believe it or not, she never faces any consequences. Watch until the end to find out which Loud House moment should have gotten Lou Anne grounded for an entire year, but somehow didn't. Lou Anne's on the loose! Take cover! We love all the members of the Loud family. They are all funny and unique in their own ways, but Lou Anne Loud is probably the funniest. Lou Anne is 14 years old and is the fourth oldest Loud sibling. And she loves nothing more than comedy. She aspires to be a comedian, and she is always ready with a joke or a pun. Most of her siblings would say that she's more annoying than funny. After all, a lot of her jokes are really cheesy. Aw, look at the Loud family getting jiggly with it. <laughs> She even wears a trick flower that squirts water all the time. But Luann is also a master at practical jokes. Her pranks are elaborate, and sometimes they border on dangerous. She's actually kind of a genius. We get it. It can be hard to stand out and get attention in a family that big. And for some reason, she never faces any consequences. She has only been punished by her parents a couple of times, and it was hardly a punishment. Some of her pranks merit police intervention, and yet Luann totally gets away with everything. Why don't her parents try to control her? Rita and Lynn Sr. are total pushovers. Maybe they are just trying to keep her embracing her creative side. Or maybe they're a little afraid that she'll just play a cruel joke on them. Either way, Luann is hilariously out of control. Poor Mrs. Johnson One of Luann's first seriously messed up pranks happened in the episode Project Loud House. Lincoln spends the episode working on a school project. It's a huge deal. The project is all about his family, and his sisters have some seriously destructive tendencies. He is determined to protect his projects from them at all costs. Luann is trying to prank her family with water buckets. She is setting them up everywhere, but Lincoln keeps people from getting drenched. This is a serious safety hazard. People could slip and fall. She could ruin important things like cell phones or school projects. But no one stops her. But when Lincoln accidentally drops his project, his sisters help him out. They act out a life-sized version of his project. It turns out great, and he gets an A. But then Luann drops a bucket of water on his teacher, Mrs. Johnson. She is so mad that she lowers Lincoln's grade to an A-. minus. Make that an A-. minus. Why didn't Luann face any consequences? It was her prank. We don't know anyone who could get away with throwing a bucket of water on a teacher. And if we were Lincoln, we would be so mad that our grade was lowered. Along Came a Sister Luann was totally out of control in Along Came a Sister. This season one episode was about Lincoln and the spider. He got to take Frank, the class tarantula, home for the weekend. But his BFF Clyde warns him that Lenny is super scared of spiders. Lincoln is a good brother. He tries his best to keep the spider away from Lenny, but then there is Luann. She chases her older sister around the house with a fake spider. That is seriously messed up. Fear of spiders is a real thing. Would you want someone to taunt you with your biggest fear? Poor Lenny. Things get even more complicated when Frank gets out of his cage. Luann's fake spiders are everywhere. Lincoln keeps thinking he has found the class pet, but it is just a fake spider. Thankfully, Lenny gets over her fear of spiders, and Luann helps keep the exterminator from killing Frank. But she definitely made matters way worse. Pranks can be funny. But terrifying someone on purpose just isn't nice at all. Once again, Luann totally had no consequences. Over your head. Everyone knows what Luann's favorite day of the year is. It's April Fool's Day, of course. Her siblings are totally terrified of her on this day. She goes totally crazy. Her pranks are just way over the top, and some are pretty serious. One time, we find out that Luann decided to staple all the furniture to the ceiling. That is seriously messed up. First of all, how did she do that? She's not that tall or strong. It's kind of scary to think about the level of determination she needed to pull off that stunt. Second, that is just all sorts of dangerous. That furniture could have fallen on top of someone in an instant. It was a real safety hazard. She also probably damaged a bunch of the furniture in the process. I'd say this prank's a little over your head. <laughs> And who is left to clean up all the mess? The rest of her family. Her parents should have punished her for that. They could stop her from doing all these awful pranks. Instead, the rest of the loud siblings spend the day in fear of the next prank. Out of control doesn't even describe it. Animal safety hazards. 
Luann just doesn't know how to control herself on April Fool's Day, and sometimes her pranks endanger other people and animals. A funny prank is cool, but involving animals in your prank is seriously messed up. For one April Fool's Day, Luann filled the house with chickens. They didn't know where they were. Seems to be your lucky day. Plus, chickens make huge messes. They would have made the house totally disgusting. And having that many chickens around can be a health hazard to people with allergies. Another year, she took out her practical jokes on the family pets by shaving them. I shaved the best for last. <laughs> that is not okay. The poor animals must have been so scared. And fur and feathers are how animals stay warm. Plus, some animals can't be shaved without causing major skin issues. She put all the family pets in a really bad, dangerous situation just for a joke. Someone should have stopped her then. Just look how scared the animals look. And Luann looks totally evil in that scene. She should keep her jokes on her siblings and leave the pets out of it. Violence is not the answer. Some things are just funny. Whoopee cushions, for example. Those things are always hilarious, especially when Luann does them. Water balloons and pies are also funny, but hurting people just isn't a good idea for a prank. But Luann has definitely shown that she has a vicious side. One of her epic April Fool's Day jokes was really pretty violent. She booby-trapped the entire kitchen. Lincoln tries to avoid the tripwire, but to no avail. Stuff falls all over him. Then he opens the fridge and a giant spring-loaded boxing glove punches him in the face. It hits him hard enough that he crashes into the oven. He even gets a black eye. And his football helmet totally falls apart. Ouch! Then he gets attacked by raccoons that were hiding in the oven. Those raccoons were biting and scratching at him. He could get rabies or other life-threatening diseases. He desperately needed a hospital visit. Instead, Luann pops in with a terrible pun. I made that dish from scratch. <laughs> Okay, so maybe her parents really are just scared of her. We wouldn't want to get on her bad side either. A comic book heist. Okay, maybe the things that happen in Pulp Friction aren't exactly Luann's fault, but she is still up to her shenanigans in season two. Lincoln and Clyde desperately want to win a comic book competition to meet the creator of the Ace Savvy Comics. Principal Huggins is super petty though. He keeps them from entering so that he can win. Loud McBride, this trash belongs to me now. But the Loud sisters are there to save the day. All of their early attempts to get the comic book end in failure. But Luann is there with a classic comedy move. She launches a banana peel at Principal Huggins' golf cart with a slingshot. The cart totally swerves. He could have had a cart wreck. Causing a car accident just doesn't seem like a good excuse for a comic book. Thankfully, he doesn't get hurt, and Principal Huggins comes to his senses. He explains that he just wanted to meet the comic book creator himself. I wanted to win the contest so I could meet Bill Buck and thank him for getting me through a lonely childhood. He loved the comic books as much as Clyde and Lincoln when he was a kid, and it all worked out in the end. They all got to meet their hero. Allergic Reaction the Loud family is so terrified of Luann on April Fool's Day that they send her off to clown camp. Her father is even willing to pay the really expensive price just so they are all safe from her pranks. But somehow, Luann knew her family would end up in a specific motel. She sets up a bunch of pranks in the motel for her family. And despite not being physically present, she really outdoes herself. But one of them was super messed up. Lana is allergic to rhubarb, but Luann trapped her little sister in a room full of rhubarb pies. And Lana is just five years old. Anyone with food allergies knows allergic reactions are no laughing matter. People can end up in the hospital or worse. But Luann thought it would be funny. She totally puts one of her youngest sisters in danger, but her parents still can't control her. They get pranked too. They try to trap her in a prank me not poncho, but that just inspires her to do even worse the next year. And give you all an April Fool's you'll never forget! We're starting to think that Luann needs a major intervention. Monkey Business Oh, Luann, we really hoped she had learned not to get animals involved in her pranks, but she hadn't. In Fool's Paradise, she gets a monkey in on her pranks, and once again, it's pretty dangerous. She is slowly taking out her family members with pranks one by one. You would think that the baby of the family would be safe, right? Wrong. Lily is just as much of a victim of the practical jokes as anyone else. When it's down to just Lynn Sr., Lynn Jr., Lily, and Lincoln, Luann goes after the youngest loud. She hooks a fishing line through Lily's diaper. She reels her up and replaces her with a monkey in a diaper. That monkey then totally attacks Lynn Jr. Ouch! That monkey was really unhappy. He probably did some major damage to Lynn, 
And what happened to Lily? Where did she go? She was probably terrified seeing all the stuff happening to her family. And did Luann just leave her unattended? She's just a baby. Luann has got some serious impulse control issues. Double trouble. Rather than get Luann the help she obviously needs, the Loud family hires a bunch of stunt doubles. They are determined to make it through April Fool's Day unscathed, but their plan totally backfires. Once I saw the amazing doubles you guys found, I was inspired to do something even better. Luann hires the stunt doubles to ruin the lives of her family. She locks her real family in the garage so they can't do anything about it. Okay, embarrassing your siblings can be kind of fun, but you never want to humiliate them too badly. That would just be mean, but that's exactly what Luann does. She sets out to humiliate each family member in a super cruel way. She wants to totally ruin their reputations. For instance, she makes Lincoln declare his love to his teacher, Mrs. Johnson. You are the center of my universe, and I love you! Lynn Jr. had a 300-win streak at Tetherball, but Luann makes the stunt double lose to someone who is terrible at it. No! My 300-game winning streak! Lynn's entire reputation is based on being good at sports. She also makes her genius sister Lisa sound like a total dummy in front of a bunch of scientists. This is a kitty. He says meow. How could her family ever trust her after this? The Parent Trap We're starting to understand why Rita and Lynn Sr. won't discipline Luann. She's terrifying. They simply have no control over her. But it's not just the loud siblings that she pranks. She also pranks her parents all the time too. And in Fool Me Twice, she takes it way too far. Rita has been working on her book for years. She wants it to be perfect. And she had just asked her publisher for another month to fix the ending. Luann has the stunt double turn in the unedited draft to the publisher. I know I said I needed another month to work on my novel, but I decided it's actually ready. She basically messed up her mom mom's whole career. That's a bit more extreme than letting Rita sit on a whoopee cushion. If a kid actually did that to their mom, they would be in so much trouble. But they got Luann back pretty good at the end. She felt really bad and said she would never prank them again. She said she would call everyone and tell them what she did. Luann really didn't want to move. Plus, they shipped her stuff off in a moving truck. Do you think Luann has learned her lesson? Let us know your favorite Luann moments in the comments. And while you're at it, tell us who your favorite loud sibling is. Give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to The Things. Thanks for watching, we'll see you soon.